my name is Chris Benninghoff. I'm from Ohio. I am a registered Republican. Um, I voted for Republican for president in every election up until 2016 when I voted independent. The, the first sign I saw about President Trump was just the way he treated the people that he was running against. So he bullied them, um, he made up lies about them. I mean, just the stuff that, that you know about him, about being accused of 22 sexual assaults, uh, the video that came out saying when you're a star, you can just grab women by the, you know, P word. Um, that's not a moral person, and that's not the type of person that, that I wanted to, to vote for. I would say one of the, the, the large things that bother me about him um, is that so many evangelicals and Christians are willing to follow a man that appears to have no Christian values. Um, and the fact that he was willing to tear gas and shoot rubber bullets at peaceful protesters so he could walk over to a church and take a picture of a Bible that wasn't his, um, that he held upside down, um, the fact that he doesn't go to church, the fact that his um, own niece said the only time he's ever gone to church is to um, take photo ops, uh, just tells me everything I know, need to know about him. And the, I, I just, it, it blows my mind that so many um, evangelicals and so many Christians can get behind a man who appears to have no moral character. I, I, I had hope that um, when he became president, that kind of what he was doing initially was an act, um, was just kind of to try and manipulate people to vote for him. I think for me, the, the major turning point um, was even prior to the whole coronavirus thing. It was the uh, incident with Syria. Uh, he just abandoned allies to allow people to be slaughtered, um, knowing that they were going to be slaughtered. And to me, I just, somebody who was so callous with human life, it's no surprise to me the way he's treated the coronavirus. The scary thing to me about the fact that he, he put the idea out there of delaying the election is that um, that seems to be the first step in wanting to do anything, right? You put an idea out there. Um, and typically I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't really think twice about it. I have lots of friends and family members that are conservatives and, and Republicans. Um, and, you know, they had this idea that, that Barack Obama was going to try and extend his term beyond eight years. And, and I never saw signs that that's what he was going to do. Um, but with President Trump, I see him putting people in powerful positions that allow him to do things that he should not be able to do. I, I will be voting for Joe Biden in 2020. And the reason is Joe Biden is somebody that, that at least appears to care about other people. Um, he appears to be somebody who's stable enough to continue these relations that we have with our allies. Um, I, I've read his plan to deal with the, with the coronavirus. And at this point, we're six months into it, 150, 150, 155,000 people who have died, and there's still no plan coming from the White House, no federal plan on how to deal with it, um, which again speaks to me that Donald Trump only cares about himself.